I would recommend to a first-time youth baseball coach to be very patient and be very positive with the kids, just like they're with them at home. The best way to break it in is uh, to pour shaving cream all over it and pound it in the middle. The advice I will give parents uh, for kids to play baseball and softball is uh, not only concentrate on hitting. Uh, too many kids just worry about hitting and then uh, they end up not being able to to catch a ball, so parents should be able to play catch with their kids, so uh, they grew up, uh, you know, with that even ability to hit and catch a ball. The best way to avoid uh, abuse on youth uh, pitchers' arm is to be careful with the pitch count and and the day's rest. You have to have discipline. Uh, you have to uh, stay within, you know, the the structure that your coach is setting out for you. And, um, and have a goal. The best way to train uh, a young pitcher's arm is uh, by long tossing, playing catch constantly and especially long tossing. I believe that the game is uh, it's more mental than physical because I've seen way so many guys that are uh, gifted uh, with great tools but then they're not able to, to put that in play once they get into the field. The roles of, uh, that some of those coaches played uh, on me was uh, as a father figure. Uh, basically, the two scouts assigned me are responsible for uh, shaping me into the type of baseball man I am today. My favorite Little League moment was when we won a championship uh, down in the Dominican Republic and we just um, marched down the streets with the trophy. Strength training for baseball players is similar to other sports. Uh, we lift weights, uh, we run, and, and you know we work on the mental aspect of it. A hitting coach should be looking for what kind of plan the hitter has when he goes to the plate and what kind of adjustment he's making from a bat to a bat. A good hitting coach, uh, it's a good patient one who is always behind his hitters whether they're doing good or whether they're struggling. The age that I think a kid should start working on a curveball, it's uh, at probably around 14 years old. I really didn't want to become a coach. I wanted to be a major league player, but the fact that I couldn't make it, um, I uh, kind of switched gears into this, and I'm doing what I love. Teams are usually looking for guys that are really to commit uh, to the sport and also to be good on and off the field. In other words, it's not good enough just to be a good athlete. You also have to be a good citizen. You do need to practice with a purpose. You just don't, uh, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. You just don't go out there and, and, and work out without any type of purpose. I think you always have to, to uh, try to do things on gain speed so when, when things happen on the field, uh, you won't feel like things have sped up on you. The advice I'll give parents to respect the, the coaches is um, it's, a, it's a hard job and you can never keep everybody happy. So uh, just stay out of the way and allow the coach uh, to do his job. I think kids uh, should start focusing on conditions as soon as they hit 12. It is very important to come into the season in shape. Uh, you no longer show up to spring training to, to get in shape. I think uh, during the off season, it's a good time for a guy to do all their conditioning and, and get the right eating habits. So when they come into camp, they don't have to waste any time. I deliver constructive criticism using what we call the positive sandwich, where I first tell a guy a good, positive thing about him. I drop the criticism, and then at the end, I finish it with another positive compliment. The advice I will give the kids uh, that are starting to play the game is that that go back in time and look at the history of the game and that'll teach them how to respect the game. In my coaching staff, I look for people that have good personalities, that can relate to every type of person, and also that are not afraid to confront people when they're not doing the right thing. 